Do you believe in blessings? For instance, making a birthday wish, or wishing someone safe travels, or even Merry Christmas. It may be just a thought or a reminder. The fact is, we all unconsciously believe our intentions can bring about good outcomes. But did you know intentions really can change outcomes? Our intentions are quietly shaping this world. This is how blessings work. My name is Lee Ronan. Six years prior, Ronan, her boyfriend Dom, and Dom's cousin Yuan, had ventured into a secluded clan village inhabited by Dom and Yuan's relatives. They were there to document a ritual for their online video channel, even though it involved breaking a religious taboo. This village was home to followers of an esoteric Yunnan religion that revered an ancestral deity known as Mother Buddha. What are you filming? Nothing. It's just a toy. I just bought it. I might not have been clear on the phone, but this is a private family ritual. Outsiders aren't allowed. But granduncle, she's not an outsider. She is his girlfriend. He politely instructed them to ask Ronan to drive away and return once they finished the ritual. Granduncle left and Ronan who had been noticing an old woman oddly staring at her for some time now, called out the attention of the two guys. The old woman approached their granduncle, who eventually came back to the car with the old woman. The old woman looked at Ronan's hand and then, surprisingly, they excitedly welcomed her to their place. Granduncle also told Dom that the old woman is their family's oldest great aunt. He also asked them to stop filming, saying they're there to worship. The clan members requested that the three of them provide their names along with a special incantation to be presented to Mother Buddha. After offering up your real name, you cannot use it here anymore. Don't even think it in your mind. During this ceremony, Clan Elder approached Ronan and delivered an unexpected message. Mother Buddha likes the little girl in your tummy. Once she has a name, the name must be offered too. Understand? Ronan and Dom were taken aback by this revelation as they had not been aware of her pregnancy at that time. I made this video because I hope everyone can help resolve my daughter's misfortune. If you're willing to stay, just in case, please look at this symbol until you've memorized it. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 If you can, please recite this with me. Doing it in your mind is fine too. Ho, ho. Show ye z sha wu ma. Ho ho, show ye z sha wu ma. Ho ho, show ye z sha wu ma. Ho ho, show ye z sha wu ma. 
how how show ye zi sha wu ma flashback that evening the group surreptitiously observed the clan as they carried out their ritual in the midst of the ceremony they noticed a young girl who appeared to be willingly undergoing preparations for a sacrifice Ti Yuan Tu fell. The little girl invited Ronan into a room, but banned Dom and Yuan from entering. There, she found sculptures and a number of eerie images and spots. Meanwhile, the girl asked her to do some weird things. Later, The three were locked inside the room after Grand Uncle instructed them to leave the next morning. Dom broke the door so they could escape. Then Ronan started to feel weak. Despite this, they still decided to breach the clan tunnel's barricades, even if they had been explicitly warned that entering it is strictly forbidden. However, was interrupted when they saw the people parading and creating weird noises. They eventually found the unconscious girl's body, which was adorned with intricate runes, placed before the tunnel. The couple tried scrapping the whole plan, with Dom feeling bad about it and Ronan feeling the need to bring her to the doctor. Yuan, however, insisted breaking the tunnel's tiny door. A harrowing turn of events followed, with them hearing hysterical screams that appeared to be children's. Worried that there are other kids and with Yuan still determined to enter and film the inside, Dom agreed while Ronan stayed with the unconscious kid. Not long after, Yuan came out screaming, eventually running away without stopping by Ronan. Ronan saw the broken camera. Dom never came out. Later, Ronan saw Dom's lifeless body carried out of the tunnel by the villagers. When she found Yuan, he tried to bite her and later on lost his teeth. He kept screaming. Don't ask! Don't ask! Until he fell down. The footage from within the tunnel has since become damaged and cannot be played. Following the birth of Dodo, Ronan made the difficult decision to leave her at a foster care facility and sought professional psychiatric assistance. Years down the line, Ronan made a remarkable recovery and was finally able to bring her six-year-old daughter, Dodo, to live with her. Yet, their once peaceful home became plagued by a series of inexplicable events, and Dodo has been haunted by the presence of a mysterious shadow. As time passed, Dodo's health deteriorated, leaving her increasingly debilitated, while Ronan's mental well-being started to deteriorate. When social workers arrived intending to separate Dodo from Ronan, they managed to escape with the help of Ming, the compassionate manager of the foster care home, who treated her like his own child. They took Dodo to a sacred shrine, 
where a priest and his wife willingly decided to put their lives at stake to perform an exorcism on her. As part of the ritual, they instructed Dodo not to eat for the next seven days. However, as her condition worsened and mysterious runes began to manifest all over her body, Ronan made the difficult decision to feed her. Tragically, the priest and his wife met a violent and untimely end. In the aftermath, Ronan rushed Dodo to a nearby hospital in a desperate bid to save her. Meanwhile, Ming traveled to Yunnan to delve deeper into the mysterious religion, commissioning professionals to expertly restore the damaged tunnel footage. The hand gesture they do is a modified version of Bafangshan in Tantric Buddhism. So the Bafangshan gesture means to collect blessing. But their gesture ends in the opposite direction. Does this mean spread? He's one of the last remaining people who can translate ancient Buddhist scriptures. Ming got the answers and returned home, finding that the video has been restored. His mental health rapidly declined just by watching the restored footage. Despite being weak, he managed to create a video Surprisingly, he told her that he won't send the restored footage anymore. As his video went on, he expressed, I was the one who reported you to social affairs. Because I didn't believe you. I also thought it was unfair to me. I'm sorry. If something really happens to me, I hope you can let Dodo know that even though I can't have my own children biologically, I'm very happy Dodo was willing to call me dad. He was eventually possessed, sending the copy to Ronan before killing himself by smashing his own head repeatedly on his camera. In the footage, it became apparent that Dom and Yuan had arrived at the altar of the Mother Buddha, whose visage was concealed beneath a shroud. In their attempt to unveil the deity, Dom succumbed to possession, meeting his demise as he tragically ended his own life by repeatedly smashing his head. The video footage further unveiled that Yuan too fell under the grip of possession and he was actually killed violently by unseen forces in the village. After watching the footage, Ronan recorded a video to seek other people's help. Later, Ronin, adorned with runes herself, made a haunting return to the altar within the tunnel. Shockingly, it was revealed that a Yunnan priest had disclosed the true nature of the Mother Buddha as a malevolent entity. Submitting one's name with the incantation was equivalent to willingly accepting the curse associated with it.
I'm sorry. I know some things shouldn't be seen. But this is the only way I can save her. If I can let more people see this and this symbol, then perhaps her curse can be alleviated. Meanwhile, the Mother Buddha's face has to be covered because it is the source of the curse. Blindfolded, she emotionally sent her message to Dodo. If possible, I really wish you weren't my child. Because I'm not a good mom. Because... I really wish you could open your eyes every day and be very happy. Then, she addressed the viewer directly, requesting their name, and boldly unveiled the face of the Mother Buddha on camera. She then gets possessed and smashes her own head on the altar. But later, after she shared Mother Buddha's head with the viewers, Dodo was seen healthy and happy, with no trace of the curse's impact. Incantation is a 2022 Taiwanese supernatural folk horror film directed by Kevin Keo, who co-wrote the screenplay with Chang Che Wei. Released in Taiwan on March 18, 2022, it quickly became the highest grossing Taiwanese horror film and gained international distribution on Netflix on July 8, 2022. The film follows Ronan, Sai Huan Yen, who, after recovering in a mental institution, is eager to reunite with her daughter Dodo, Wang Xinting, raised in a foster home overseen by Ming, Kao Yinghuan. However, Dodo's return to Ronan comes with unsettling developments as she starts seeing invisible entities referred to as baddies. The movie employs the found footage style, using home videos and security camera footage, effectively weaving a story that moves back and forth in time. The presence of a young child in peril adds to the tension, and Ronan's interactions with the audience by breaking the fourth wall to chant Hu Ho Shou Yi, Sai Si Wu Ma create an eerie atmosphere. The culmination of the cursed video within a cursed tomb provides a chilling climax. While it adheres to the found footage horror genre, Incantation distinguishes itself by blending two narrative threads, one set in the present as Ronan strives to regain custody of her daughter and the other delving into her past. The decision to take her daughter's return home serves as a compelling reason for the found footage format. The film boasts higher production quality compared to many other found footage films and incorporates impressive special effects, particularly in creating unsettling and tripophobic visuals. Though it does succumb to some of the shaky camera issues common in the genre, it manages to avoid the worst of them. Overall, Incantation delivers a solid found footage horror experience. The film's premise serves as an effective vehicle for the genre, and it keeps viewers engaged thanks to a talented cast, relatable elements, and a pervasive atmosphere of dread. With its captivating spell casting and spine-tingling moments, Incantation is a worthwhile addition to the supernatural horror genre and a testament to the quality of Taiwanese cinema in this genre. Thank you for watching our movie synopsis. Be sure to click the subscribe, like, and notification bell to receive reminders of our next movie synopsis here on Bento's Storybox. See you next time, or at the movies.